Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and our On the Map Challenge series here on Elmo, Missouri. So, this is episode two. Um, as you can see, we have ourselves a new baler. Uh, it's a New Holland brand. Uh, we bought it for five grand. Uh, there was a uh, John Deere small square baler that we had our eye on, but that one ran about 17 grand. So, we went with the older model uh, New Holland for a little bit less. Still does the same job. Probably just as good. So, um, we have this. Uh, we bought ourselves a little hay wagon there. Um, and we also have purchased a Vermeer rake and a old New Holland disc bind. Or not disc bind, uh, hay bind. So, um, few new purchases uh we did start or we did uh finish wheat harvest with about 40 grand so that was pretty good um we have a whole day's worth of recording that we uh are gonna have to scrap because we are having that same audio issue where it just sounded awful like audio just sounded terrible um that we had at the end of the first episode that didn't allow, I, I didn't put that uh, last little bit in there because the audio was so bad and it's just like a microphone thing. I don't know, it's weird. Um, so I'm keeping my eye on my OBS while I'm recording, but yeah, so <laughs> we pretty much had a whole day's worth of work that we already recorded, probably about almost 25 minutes worth of recording. So, um, we got the first hay field or wheat field, uh, bailed. All picked up um, so we have one full hay wagon load of straw small straw squares um, that we put under the lean-to um, that is uh, hooked up or kind of connected to the cow barn I'll get we'll get back to the farm and I'll show you and then we took the rest of the bales so we had took like 128 bales up to um uptown so the livestock market takes uh square bales so uh, or just bales in general so we sold them there and that netted us about six grand so um we just i just don't think that we're gonna need this <laughs> this many straw uh square bales so um i just we're not gonna have like a ton of beef cows to start so once we get those, we'll use these square bales as bedding, probably, and um, we will, uh, yeah, we'll get some uh, hay bales in there for feed, so that's kind of the plan there. Um, so, I'm sh so I think all of these bales will probably end up selling as well. Yeah, a little bit disappointed that we aren't able to, I'm not able to show you that. Maybe, maybe by this time you have already seen it in like a little bit of a time lapse, maybe? I don't know, maybe I can get some of it in a time lapse or something, I don't know, probably not. I'm probably just going to scrap it all, because it's literally just me bailing just like this, and we drove around and picked up the squares and stuff like that, so. Nothing too exciting, but we do have rain coming at about 1700, so we got two hours to finish bailing this field and then pick it up as well, so. The kind of the big debate was if we should even start this field, but I felt like we had enough time. I think we should have enough time before the hit, or the rain comes, hopefully, fingers crossed, so. I don't want to be selling soggy uh, straw bales, so. The first field I went around once we were done with the headlands and picked up the headlands. It's because they're kind of in the way when we're turning, but whatever. We'll we'll dodge them. We'll we'll uh, we'll make it work. So so I'm gonna keep at this. We'll finish up the field and then we'll uh, jump over to doing a little bit of uh, driving the pickup with the hay wagon around the field, picking up some bales. I know what you guys are probably thinking. Why didn't you just connect the 
wagon up to the baler, load it like that, or you could do it all in one. Great question. Valid, valid question as well, but I don't know. I just felt like we could do it this way for a bit. Well, maybe for uh, once we get into hay, we can uh, spend a little upgrade or spend a little money on an upgrade and extend the chute up a bit and so it kind of will feed up onto a wagon but i feel like we'll probably need to get another wagon if we do that so we can unhook the wagon and then hook one up and keep going while we send the truck up town type of thing um so i don't know it also takes two people when someone's got it well i guess it doesn't take two people we could just quit and then drive the truck up town. I don't know. Just wanted to do it this way. For now. Want to give it a try. Never done this. Never just drop bales to the ground and loaded them. Especially with auto load. This is like my second time using auto load in FS. My first time actually was on the multiplayer series on Midwest Horizon. Um, I did some some uh, bale picking up and for uh, Pleasant's Farm. So, yeah. But yeah, this is. This, this works, right? This works for now. Pretty much taking a full day to get done, so. It's good. The timing's good. I'm seeing from a lot of people in the Discord that are hopping on the challenge as well. If you also want to join in on the Own the Map challenge. Please do. Um, a lot of guys have hopped in. Um, we made a, or we have a, a channel dedicated to it in my Discord where everybody can just post their screenshots and what they're doing and what their farms are like and equipment and all that stuff. So it's kind of fun that everybody's, not everybody, but a lot of people are hopping on. It's, it makes it fun. Let's unload these bales. I think we're done, right? Looks like we're done. Look at all those small square bales laying out there. Get all them bales. Gotta get these out by hand. Back them right here. Pull that one out of the chute. There we go. Just like that. Hold it up. And we are done bailing the straw. Seems good to know we have just a little under an hour to pick these bales up before it rains. So even if we don't beat the rain, we'll probably continue to get these off. So at least they're not just sitting here getting soaked. Run this up to the front of the field. Probably would be smart to just run it home, but I want to get the bales off. Set this guy there, shut her down. Up in the old Ford pickup. Think should be an operating bond. Nope. There we go. And we just drive around the field picking up bales. <laughs> just like this. Nothing too crazy. Pretty chill. I was running the truck at 10 mile an hour earlier, but we're in a time crunch now. Nobody, nobody wants no wet meals. That's for sure. Forgive me for the auto load, but I honestly 
think I would go insane trying to just drive a truck around and then get out, pick up bales, and try and stack them. It would be absolutely miserable. And I'm not trying to do that. I'm honestly, I'm truly curious if anybody's ever actually done that. Tried stacking small squares in a field by hand. In game. Obviously people do it real life all the time, but in game. Who has the patience? Not me. I'm a pretty patient guy. But with this, hmm, nope. <laughs> Count me out. Know a lot of you enjoy watching the bale stacking. I know this is a little bit sacrilege to you guys, but got to do her somehow, and this is how we're going to do her. Nothing wrong with switching it up, right? Still takes a little time. Get him picked up. <laughs> one by one, row by row, pretty much. There are some rows that you're kind of closer together where you can pick up two at a time, like we just did over there on the <clears throat> on the uh, east side of the field. But you guys get the gist, right? Head up town with these once we're full. I'll catch you guys in a wee little bit once we are full and once we are heading up town. Hopefully it's not raining. So I'd say we probably have about 80 bales left in the field. Coming up here for the second time now to sell some bales. First time I completely missed the livestock market. Had to turn around at the fire station, so we'll make sure we don't miss it this time. At least we'll try to not miss it. Well, the diner is popping today. Take her slow over the railroad tracks. Don't need any bales falling off on the railroad tracks. Wait for this fella to go by. Right here in the back is actually the sell point for your bales. You're going to have to back her in. Best of my backing up in skills earlier was pretty good. Did pretty swell. Gonna have to do a take two here quick. Should be able to get it this time. Doing this is a lot easier with a wheel and pedals. If you're using keyboard, it's a dead gum nightmare to back these up. You can control your speed a lot better. That should be good. There we go. Felon. Okay. Almost eight grand that time. I'll take that. So while we're in town, we're actually going to go grab some fuel quick because we actually don't have a fuel um, tank 
on our farm. So we need to grab some fuel real quick while we're in town. I believe is up here. I know we're wasting time. We got to get, should be getting down to the field, but I also don't want to just come up here just to get fuel. I think right up here. Don't oh, miss it. And the unfortunate part is, I don't think that we can go around either. Oh, there goes the rain. We're going to turn around in the old tomato factory. Can we? Can we go through here? No, nope, we can't. I was hoping that we could take that side road. Just like I suspected, we cannot. Oh, gas station. Not seeing a gas station. Oh, it's just like this little guy. Just a little pump, I see. Not an actual gas station. Okay. Oh, that was quick. $216 for fuel. Uh oh. That's expensive. Some expensive fuel there. Folks should get inside. It's starting to rain. Now we're an active community, but we gotta we gotta think reasonably here. All right. Well, get down to the field, pick up the rest of the bales. Catch you shortly. And to throw ourselves a little coat on to get this tractor home. It's so wet. Keep us out of the rain a little bit. A little raincoat action, eh? Just pull this right. We probably could just pull this right into... We have room in... In the main barn here. Oh, yeah. We got all sorts of room in here. All sorts of room for new equipment. You know what I'm saying? Did good. You did good, tractor. You did good. I'm gonna run over here quick. Show you where we put our bales earlier. We put these through these uh, square bales right in here. So I'm thinking we're gonna have room for hay bales in here, probably. Probably could go too too wide here. Two stacks wide. Liking that. I'm thinking that's a good spot for him, so. A little light. What is that? Is there a light switch in this part? Hmm. No, maybe not. So, so, yeah, this is where those sit. We got our Vermeer rake here. Old Vermeer rake. We'll do the job. And we got our hay bin. Well, New Holland hay bin here that'll run great on the uh, on the old case. So those are our new purchases as of today. So it's pretty much gonna be it for the day. I'm just gonna shut up. Or, yeah, close up shop here. Got some barns, got some sheds. No one comes in and steals our stuff. Oh, oh, got real dark out of nowhere. And then, yeah, we're gonna head inside and call her a day. So, probably catch you guys here. You guys is gonna be like right now. Uh, and hit the hay. To relax. 
call her a day. Welcome to September 2. Had an early start this morning. Went and picked ourselves up something from town. Nothing too exciting. But it's needed. Check that puppy out, huh? Old, old international power washer. Get her, get her equipment washed. Get it all washed down, you know. Especially this baler. She got dirty yesterday. So today we're gonna be doing some hand. I know. Did I say? You know, I get, I know I got it all mixed up. What I actually did say and what I didn't from the recordings that I cannot use compared to the ones that I can. So, um, yeah, we're gonna be doing some haying. Um, I did say that. Um, the grass wasn't ready, but that was just because I had it, like, checked off on the map thing. Like, you couldn't see grass, because that's kind of like the default of how it usually is. Oh. But it's actually ready, and I thought it looked like it would be. We're going to back on up to the haybine. Get some hay cut. That was just about perfect, I'll tell you what. Lucky there. I start here in the front field. Not like super ready, like it could definitely go another stage, but we're not going to wait until October to cut this. We're only going to need a little bit of hay. To start. So we need to go with conditioner. Right? Definitely not going to be the greatest yields in the world, <laughs> but we'll do for now. Because, like I said, we really don't need a ton. So this is pretty much going to be our job for today. Just going to be cutting some hay. Some really exciting stuff, but it's in all in preparation of getting our sell some, some beefers to make some money on, you know. Probably be plowing in one of these fields. See, that grass field's way more ready. We probably should have just waited on this one, to be honest. Which we might just do. Might just cut the ends and then get off this one and go to the to the field that actually looks like it would have a decent yielding hay crop. Alrighty, so we are nearly finished up. Probably, I just finished like our, so I go down the middle and I cut, and then kind of do like, kind of like cut a hole type of thing, like when you're carvacing, then you just go down each side when you turn type of thing, so that's what I've been doing to make straight rows, but now we're on this end point here, so we're just going to keep going around. It's uh, it's been a few days <laughs> since I've been on this save. Cause it's been go 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 time for the farm that I work for. I just put in a seventeen-hour day yesterday, trying to beat the rain. Still have well. To begin the day, we had over a thousand acres. We probably got through about 400 acres yesterday. 
corn. So can't combine beans in the snow, but you can combine corn in the snow, so and that's how uh this fall has been. So been very, very wet, to say the least. When we can go, we gotta go, and that means that I can't get any recording done, so that's why it's been a while since the first episode is currently Wednesday, the 25th of October, as I'm recording this. Um, yeah, so I think at this point... I'm going to try a live stream tonight, so by the time this video is out, that's going to be already passed. So hopefully you guys checked that out. If you were, if you caught the live stream, let me know in the comments. We're going to let this field grow. We'll probably bail that end row. We might take one more pass off, actually, of that. Quick. Make it three, because I think, hell no, we're not. We're just going to go two. Um, trying to figure out where I want to put this mower. We've made a new purchase. Another new purchase. Check her out. Kubota L3901. It's a compact tractor. It's going to be uh, real nice for some loader work here on our farm. We really don't, don't have anything too crazy that we got to do loader work with, but this was a mod sent over by good buddy Kevin. Um, appreciate it, buddy. Just doing a little testing for it, and he's not <laughs> still kind of working on it. No, it's just a convert. Pretty much a straight convert, I think. I don't think he's added anything. Maybe he may have added the hitch. I'm not sure, but... We're going to put it to work right away. Doing some raking. Only a 40 horse tractor. So, really not going to be doing a whole lot, but it was... What, 30 grand or something like that? So. But it'll do the job raking, that's for sure. This will be a good job for it. Is it slick, though? It's pretty slick. Actually, not a terrible model. Like, it's actually a pretty solid model there. I know you guys are probably going to be asking him for it. I don't think he's going to... Um, I don't know. I think he might put it on his itch page. He's got some converts on his itch page. So... Um, might put it there, but... I, I wouldn't keep asking him for it. <laughs> it's never really a good idea to do with anybody. Um, so, I'm just playing with it, testing it for him. So... Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. I do very much appreciate it. There's a four-wheel drive version as well with a little bit bulkier tires on the front. Um, but he's having some issues with the tire, or with the wheels there, so. But the two, I actually really like the two-wheel drive version. I think that looks really nice. Keeper unfolded. That's the beauty of having your own lane back to your fields. Oh shoot, I forgot that we don't have our own lane back to this field. We have to squeeze through the trees again. Oh my god. We have to bust the chainsaw out, or chainsaw out quicker than we thought. I don't like not having this uh, field entrance. 
bust through the bushes. take the time and let this dry um, with maze plus which we are using like we usually do um, right regular dry grass or regular like wet grass um, grass bales um, you can feed to your cows and they actually I'm gonna give you like a hundred percent but it gives them uh, more productivity than just hay, I believe, I think. Um, so I think you, you can just feed them straight grass bales. Or like conditioned grass bales, I guess. I don't really know. I think it's something like that. It's either one, I think. Uh, I think they kind of act the same. So. Yeah, this rake, I don't know why it makes that noise. If you're watching with headphones, you might be able to hear it. Like, makes that noise. Like, it's like a. I don't know. Moving hydraulically or something like that. I don't know why it does it. So, apologies for the last little bit of audio issue. This Windows update royally screwed up my audio. Not that it was the greatest in the first place, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. It should, if I'm correct, it's having its hard time like balancing between both ears. It's almost like it's on, like it's not changing to the, what is it, cardioid mode where it should be balanced in both ears. It's almost like it's like a, a binaural one or whatever it's called where it's, uh, like you can hear it if I lean to the left more, you can hear it in your left ear. I went to the right or whatever more it's in your right ear type of thing which I will leave probably the last like few minutes probably is how that was so I don't know what's going on I've tried a lot of things I've tried to update the driver for the microphone I've tried just doing the old unplug replug thing I've tried just restarting the computer really tried a lot of different things and it seems that none of it's working to keep it to maintain it but yeah it's just the it's the uh, uh windows update just screwed it really did We'll get a little bit of hay off this, or grass, or feed, I guess we can call it. And then we'll probably call it a day, jump into September 3, and do a little bit of bailing, and then get some cows brought in, most likely. And then after that, we'll be into... October and it's going to be harvest season so we'll be busy busy with that so may be biting off more than we can chew with the amount of land we have with the equipment that we're running and the time scale that we've committed to so um we'll have to see about that gotten some feedback that uh it goes quick I know it definitely does, but might be a lot quicker than I expected. So we were getting ready to call it a day. Kind of pack up and go get some things done around or in the house and whatnot, but we got a call from a guy named Cliff Powell. He owns some farmland over uh, east of us, 
And uh, he asked if we could do a little cultivating for him. So he's, uh, he lives east quite a ways. But he owns a few uh, pieces of farmland around here. Um, and he's not really able to get over here and get this field cultivated. He's been busy with a lot of his ground over closer to him, so. So he asked us, us if we could do it for him, so. That is what we're going to do today, or to finish the day. Probably going to take a little while. Um, pays, he said he's going to pay us about three grand to do it. So I said, heck, why not? Let's go. We'll do a little cultivating. Uh, always a nice relaxing job to do, so. And we get to try out our old, or new to us, old international uh, cultivator, so. Catch you guys when we get to the field. Alrighty. Pulling into the field now. Looks like it's got quite a wet spot in there. Don't really know what was planted in here before. Be a root crop of some sort? I don't know. Backed up to the corner. Drop her down and away we go. The old lady one tens pulling her like a dream. To be expected. I don't know much or I don't know how much more we'd want, really want to run with it though. To be honest. Feels like it's grunting a little bit. But it's doing the job pretty good, so. We'll get this done off camera, most likely. Um, probably gonna call it an episode here. I don't wanna run old, like an hour, over an hour like we did the last time. <laughs> that was a f long first episode, so. Um, that is not gonna be the uh, the norm, so. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one.